Okay, so the trick isn't that complicated on this game, but a lot of them, well, you just memorize. A lot of times you can memorize the specific things you don't click. This one is really easy because the only one you don't click on this one is this quarter circle facing down that's slightly bigger, and then you just click everything else as fast as you can. So a lot of them are like that. And it's pretty easy to get them consistent. Oh, well, it's not necessarily that easy, but once you know, it becomes easier. This one's pretty easy, but you don't click a lot of things. It's just the arms are obvious. Then it's this, and then the three trapezoids. You click three trapezoids, and then these two triangles in the head, and that's all you click. So there's a lot left over, but it's not that much to click, and it's pretty easy to remember. This one's another really easy one. The only one you don't click is this open square. Everything else you click. This one, there's two that are like this, and the big trick to this one is that um, you look at the parallelograms, and you don't click the one with the flat bottom. So this one, it's tricky because you have to look at them, but this has a flat bottom, so you don't click that one, and you click all the other parallelograms. The rest is pretty easy to remember, like you don't click this triangle. And then there's a different one that has two flat bottom parallelograms, but it's the same thing. You click all the parallelograms that don't have a flat bottom. I think that was my record run. Yeah. I'm really happy with that score. But I think I could do a little better still. <laughs> there's there's like two patterns like this. These ones are also easy to remember. So for you don't click the big parallelogram in the middle. They both have that and it's always in the middle. You just don't click that and then there's a round thing you don't click as well. In this one, it's the small circle. So you click the big and medium circle and everything else and not the parallelogram. So this is one that is pretty easy to remember. This one too. Um, you don't click the open square and you don't click the half circle and you click everything else. This is the same one. Don't click the quarter circle facing down. This one's harder, and I messed it up in the test, but um, the easiest way to do this one is you click all the small things. So like all of these small things and round things, and then you click the big, um, the big triangles and the big uh, trapezoids, and then from that point, you can just look at the puzzle and solve it, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So that's the trick to that game, but, yeah. Okay, so this game has a lot of patterns that um, you can remember, so I've done it enough that it's hard for me to say what I recognize in the pattern, but I just know the pattern now, and I know what to click, but um, some things are, a whole bunch of the puzzles have just 
identical things on both sides. And then the one that's unique is always the one on the top of the triangle. So like this scale, you can take out the rabbit and the sheep and ignore them. All you have to look at is the ladybug and the dog. So the ladybug is heavier. And then if it's only two things, not three, then the one on the left is the unique one. So it's the sheep is heavier than the ladybug. The ladybug is heavier than the dog or whatever. So the sheep is the heaviest. So the first big thing is just knowing where to look. So just that's all you have to look at. The top thing in the triangle and then the left thing when there's two. That's on the ones where it has the same thing. So this is another one like you only look at the top things and the left thing and then you figure out from there. So it's the red is heavier than the blue, the green is heavier than the red, you click the green. This one is an odd one out, so I call it an odd one out pattern. And this is one where it's like, I just know it, but I'm not exactly sure what I know. But if it's an odd one out pattern, I guess it's because there's no sheep on this scale. But in an odd one out pattern, it's always the top one of a triangle or the left one on the left one if there's two things. That's always the answer, so the sheep is the answer here, and it's the one that doesn't show up on the other scales, so there's no sheep on any of the other scales, so, and the sheep is in the top position, so that's the answer. This is another odd one out, so this scale has the answer, and it's the one in the top position, so it's the ladybug. So, uh, these odd one out, you have to know it's an odd one out pattern, and then um, you just look in the right spot. This one's just, which one's heavier? You compare the top things again, so like the bottom two are the same every time. You compare the top things and the left one, and then figure out from that. And this is another one. You compare the top things, and that's all you look at. And here, if you can see that they all cancel out, like this yellow thing, the yellow ring, you can see the yellow rings on the other scales all cancel out, so there's no other yellow ring you have to worry about, so you know it's the yellow ring. This one's another, um, sometimes it's hard to tell between odd one out or um, if it's just removing the ones that match, but I think you know because the scale has two of the same thing on it, so it's not an odd one out pattern, so it's just the same thing, you look at the left or the top thing. So the green is heavier than the uh, the yellow thing, so that's the an answer. And it's the same thing. This is a two odd one out, so not only do you, like when you see these two objects and two objects balanced, if two are the same, then you know the answer's on the other side, and you know it's the left one. So the blue is the answer immediately. But it's another odd one out, and the blue is the one that's not on any other scale. This is another, it's the same thing. <laughs> this is another odd one out. The snake is in the right, in the answer position. This is another odd one out, and it's the ice cream. This is another odd one out, and it's the red thing. This is another odd one out, but it's a little bit tricky to see, but it's the green thing on this scale. This is another odd one out, and it's the blue. This one looks like an odd one out, but it's not, and it's just, you compare the top things and the left and top, and it's the dog. And then this one too, you, is, you compare the same way. This one's odd one out. This one's odd one out, but sometimes they don't have a matching object, so it's either the lollipop or the hamburger, and you have to look at the other scales to see which one's not there, and that's the answer. So there's no lollipop.
guess that's like all the patterns, pretty much. So going over my scores, whack match from what I remember was like, it felt like hard to beat. I think it was like about as good as I could get, <laughs> just because you're really limited. So like, there's only so much you can do. Maybe you could answer a little bit faster and get one more or two more hits in, but there's only so much you can do. Species Spotlight, I had a really good run and I didn't, I like got my record with a mistake. So I could have answered it correctly. When you get a mistake, you lose a whole bunch of points. And when you get correct, you get a whole bunch when you're on the hard levels. So I could have gotten a much better score, but it's still like a decent score. Frame filler, I'm not that good at. I could do better though. Uh, fast focus, I could do a little bit better, but it's really good. Like I'm happy with the score, but I've been on runs that could have been better than that. And I just didn't get the last one right or stuff like that. Flash memory, I think I can do a little bit better. Memo random, I was really happy with that score. <laughs> and, like, I'm sure that I could possibly do better, but it's not a score that's easy to, for me to beat. Reverse retention, from what I remember, was like, it felt like really hard to get better, like, as a human. Maybe with TAS, you could answer so fast that you could get another answer in, but it just takes so long for the things to show up that it's hard to do much better. Covered cages is the same way, so I think that, like, 1440 there is pretty hard to beat. <laughs> Maybe you could get one more, but probably not better than that. Cube game, I stopped running, so <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if I, like, did it seriously, I could do pretty well on it, but I don't know. I just haven't felt like playing that game. Heavyweight still has room to go, actually. I could still do better than that, but I'm still happy with that score. Match Blasts, I felt pretty good with my score, but all of them I could do better. I didn't really run speed sorting at all, so <laughs> I don't know. Ad agency, that one's hard for me to beat. But if I practice it, maybe. Now in math, I think I could do better, but it's not a bad score. TikTok turn, I have, I've done better in a test. I have a 2000 on the game in a test. I think that was like my first video on this, but so I could beat the score for sure. I actually beat it, it just didn't get saved. And I could do better than that too, I think. Balloon Burst, I wanted to get one, like, my record has a miss at the end, so it's the same thing where I lost a lot of points, and I could have gotten it correct, so I could have easily just gotten, like, plus two, whatever that is. <laughs> that might be, like, high 1900 or something. Get in shape, that's hard to beat now. <laughs> that's a good score. But, eh, probably could do better. Shadow Shift, I, I just don't play that game much. I don't play Train Turn much, I don't play True View much, so. This one, I think Whack Match, I could have, I could do one more on this level. I could do a little bit better, but you're like really capped by how much you can answer. So the score won't go that much higher, but I could beat it. Super Species Spotlight, it's like the same thing. I could do better, but it's not a bad score. Frame filler, I'm just not that good at the game. Fast focus, I'm, I'm happy with that score. This one, I think I could have done a little bit better as well but it's still a really good score. <laughs> Flash memory, I don't remember how I feel about that one. Super memorandum, it's like not nearly as good as the 
other the <laughs> the regular run, but like it's still a decent score for me. Just the regular run was so like crazy for me. Reverse retention, I I don't think I I think I wanted to run it to get one more correct here and I didn't do it. So I think there's easily room to get one more correct and then you might not be able to beat it. Super covered cages is really hard. <laughs> like I don't know if you can do get one more correct there because I went steadily quickly through everyone and barely answered the last one in time and then it takes a long time for it to shuffle all of them so you have to increase your increase the speed by so much that it, like i don't know if i can ever beat that super q game again i didn't run that one heavyweight still has room to improve i can still beat that but it's still a good score Match Blast, I didn't play that much. I didn't play Speed Sorting. Ad Agency, I'm pretty happy with that score. Like, I'm sure I could do better, but it's a good score. Mallet Math, I think it's a good score. I think I could do better, but it's good. TikTok Turn, I don't like playing it that much, but I could do better. Bloom Burst is pretty good, I think. I'm happy with the get in shape score. There's always room for improvement, but that's a pretty good score. And I didn't run the other three.
Thank <laughs> you.